Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Thanks so much for joining our weekly Wednesday webinar um, through TAG for any of our Stage 100 contractors, Stage 300 CRE clients, um, and anyone in the industry who's really just interested in learning more about these systems, um, everything related to it. Today, we've invited uh, Jessica Moody to present our topic, and it really centers around the relationship between a service um, dedicated to you, who's an expert in payroll, HR, and more, um, and how that complements um, the company's uh, workflow using any of the Sage construction software systems. Now, the reason that we wanted to really bring her in, first of all, we've worked with Jessica for um, quite a while. She's a great person, great resource, very intelligent. And so that was um, definitely something that we wanted to bring to our clients um, and our network. But this conversation comes up quite a bit um, as we are working with our clients um, or working with uh, folks who are evaluating Stage. How is it going to all work together and what's the best way to um, create that workflow? Essentially, what we hope our clients would do is to take that labor cost and bring it in directly through, into Sage um, first and foremost on the forefront so that all of that information is being job costed um, and is reflecting in all of your financials in real time. Um, that way, um, all of your reports um, can include um, an estimated labor burden and really give you a good perspective of how your jobs are doing um, on a daily basis. Um, from there, we rely and work uh, 
closely with uh, ADP to make sure that all of that comes to ADP in the format that's needed um, when they need it um, so that that happens very efficiently. You can even automate that process of getting that uh, time um, and those hours over to ADP. So with that, um, they would be able to take all of that information, do their job, and essentially you can focus on the things um, that you need to focus on. So um, from there, I'll let Jessica go ahead and give us an overview of everything that she can handle for you. Um, it's much more than just payroll. So with that, I will hand it off to you, Jessica. Thank you so much, Leilani. I really appreciate it. So like she said, um, my name is Jessica Moody. I am a district manager here at ADP La Palma, and I am going to show you some of our solutions today. Some of you know us as the payroll provider, um, but it's actually a very small percentage of our business now. So I will definitely dive into that, but I'll show you some of our other modules as well. So of course, what we're looking at is our Workforce Now database. And our payroll solution comes with everything from tax filing, all your 940s, 941s, to your W-2s, to your new hire reporting, check stuffing signing, direct deposits, PTO tracking, a general ledger solution, customized content with the portal, so what you're looking at right now, our free mobile app, as well as the wage garnishment processing. So we will prioritize, calculate, and pay your wage garnishments. Sometimes that happens when someone has child support and alimony. We know which one takes priority, we calculate it, and we automatically send those checks to the agency. So those all come um, basic, but I mention them because these are some of the reasons that SAGE uh, clients need a more robust payroll system. They just have a little bit more that they need someone like ADP to handle. So I will quickly show you our payroll module and what it looks like to process a payroll. This is our payroll cycle. It was built off of client feedback and it's meant to streamline everything for you to run an efficient and effective and really accurate payroll the first time. So we have everything here on one quick dashboard for you. What our clients wanted to see up front was the new hires, terminations, and changes right away. So this here in the change report, um, which I lived and breathed by, so I was a client first before I worked at ADP, by the way, for six years. So I loved this report because it showed me everything that happened in that pay cycle. Anything from a direct deposit change, garnishment change, um, someone added a baby to benefits, a new pay rate, new manager, anything that you touched in that payroll cycle, you were able to have a report ready for you to make sure that those changes were effective. Now, um, most likely you will import your time and attendance hours and those will show up right here. So you get a quick glance at what your hours and earnings look like. Now the point of this is to have um, everything efficient, but so you don't necessarily have to dive down into that batch. But if you did want to make a correction or a one-off change, this is how simple it is to make changes to that batch. This is what it would look like to import hours. This is what you would be able to view. So if you needed to change the temporary rate or job number, regular hours, and so forth, you could. But typically, our construction clients import this just so we can print the detail on the paycheck stub. Going back to the payroll cycle, we will see some icons on the bottom. And again, these are just little coins here on the bottom left, which will help you run an accurate payroll the first time. So it says inactive employees with pay data. Basically anyone who's termed or on leave who's still getting a check. So this is ADP just saying, was that an accident or did you mean to do that? And on the flip side, active employees without hours and earnings. So there are people in the system who aren't getting paid this pay period. You know, what's going on there? Are those errors? And of course you can click here and dive down and see who those employees are and make those changes and correct those errors. 
automatic pay um, canceled. Those are our salaried folks. And then also our quick calc requests. So if you're making manual checks, we want to make sure that they were saved. And if they weren't, they'd be right here. On the right hand side, you have warnings and messages. Again, this is just to make sure that you're running that accurate payroll. So we might say, hey, there's a pending time off request. You might want to review this prior to submitting your payroll. Did that employee take sick time? Another page that typically, you know, the controllers, the CFOs like to see is the statistical summary totals. This is where you are able to see how much money you need to have in the bank, what makes up those totals as far as checks, live checks, direct deposits, taxes, etc. You're also able to view trends. So as you submit your payroll, you can see where your payroll is. You can export that to PDF or Excel. Down below, we have some colorful donuts. Again, just totaling everything here for you. So again, this dashboard was meant for you to be able to view all of your total hours, earnings, taxes, deductions, memos right away. We haven't even run any reports. So all of this is ready for you to review um, prior to a preview. But when you are ready to preview your payroll, it only takes about 20 seconds, and you receive all of these reports here on the right. So this is where you're able to download the reports like a payroll register. You can look employee by employee, line by line, department by department. You can make sure your garnishments went through, your PTO accruals, your benefit deductions. Really just check every penny, make sure that you have the warm and fuzzy, that your payroll is accurate. And then you would have a blue accept button right here. You'd receive your live checks the next day and um, your direct deposits the day after. So that's a typical process that we see here. We see here. So our payroll module is very simple. It, um, it, you know, it's, that's it in a nutshell, but it is very robust. So again, on the back end, we are still doing all of the PTO accruals, the garnishments, direct deposits, and so forth. So some of the things that have changed. So perhaps some of you have had ADP in the past, or for those who have never had ADP, I want to show you some things that um, differentiate us. One is our um, marketplace. Uh, of course, TAG is our partner, so we partner with them. But let's just say you have um, you know, a business card vendor or something along those lines. Maybe you have Cornerstone for your LMS. We integrate with hundreds of vendors now on our marketplace. So that's one thing where we have true and secure integration. But another, um, some of our features are our learning bytes. So let's just say you haven't done a garnishment in a while or a new hire in a while and you needed help. On every page there's something called a learning bite. And it, they're one to two minute videos on how to do the most common tasks on this page. Of course, you can always go up here to support. You can call us. You can email us. You can even schedule an appointment. So if it's not urgent, you're able to say, hey, can you call me Monday at 3? And ADP will call you at that scheduled time. One of our newest features is the chat with ADP. So you're actually able to instant message us right here from the Workforce Now application. That's something that uh, is, is brand new. So let me dive in a little deeper and show you a pay profile. So this has been enhanced in the last year, and basically we wanted everything on one page. So you're able to see previous um, pay summaries, their rates, their deductions, direct deposit, tax withholdings, PTO, and so forth. Now one thing that you'll see down in this bottom right is our field grabber. Again, something that is new and enhanced, but it's intended to grab fields on the current page and create reports right from here. So the common pages used for it are the personnel profile, the employment profile, but let's just say you wanted to create a report for pay history or deductions. We always have standard and sample reports, but you can also grab right from the system. So that new um, uh, thing is called the, the field grabber. So it'll create reports right here. So you can, you can see how I'm just clicking the blue plus 
and it's going to take all those earnings and, and put it right into a field. So you're actually going to get a real-time preview of what your report looks like. So I'm going to go back and grab some more fields. Let's just say I want everyone's tax status. You know, you just keep adding those fields as necessary. I want everyone's deductions and so forth. So that's one of our newest features. I'll go ahead and turn that off for now. And then I also want to show you some of our uh, PTO options because um, I'm over here in California, so obviously we have California sick time, but that is also um, expanding throughout other states as well. So just know that uh, whether you are on our free mobile app or in the system, your employees are able to see their balances, but they're also able to request time off. So if you wanted to go paperless, you certainly could. Your employees are also able to see their balances up. So as we hit our holiday season coming up, your employees might want to take some vacation. They're able to go in here and say, hey, as of December 23rd, what will my balances be? And the system's smart enough to calculate that. They simply click a day of the week, request that time off, and everything is configurable. And everything has an approval path. So as your employee creates those time off requests, you tell us who needs to approve it, and it can either go directly to the manager, the manager and the HR department, all the way up to the CEO. Whatever your approval path is, we will build it for you. You'll also see here that the pay dates are on here, any holidays are on here, and then of course the pending requests. Another neat feature is the My Team. So imagine your supervisors, your foremen, you know, they might have to have consistent coverage within a certain department. Um, so we don't want to let everyone, you know, laying concrete that day off. And so this will help you see and have visibility into your entire team and who has that day off. And then of course there's my peers. So my team is everyone who reports to you. My peers is everyone who reports to your same manager, and then my calendar is your personal calendar. Some other things that the employees will be able to see is their own profile. So they're able to come in here and look at their personal profile, such as their direct deposit, their emergency contacts, their home address. So as you get comfortable with the technology, I see a lot of clients turn this on and not only allow their employees to view it, but actually allow their employees to edit it. So they're able to edit their phone number, and then of course there's an approval path up to you. So you can still approve the change and view the change, but you are allowing your employees to come in here and assist with some of that admin work. Of course, um, that reduces the amount of time that they're spent in your office. Also, we see a lot of this happening on the weekends, right? Perhaps they are with their spouse and they're planning a vacation and they need to make those requests on Sunday night. They can do that in the system without having to wait to come to you on Monday morning. So your employees will have access, again, via the mobile app or through this website, and they will have a three-year rolling access to their pay statements as well as their W-2s. They can come in here and change their direct deposit as well as their uh, federal W-4. One of the, um, another neat feature that we have is the total rewards statement. So this is newer, but what we heard was that our clients wanted to be able to show their employees exactly how much they make, right? Because they might only see that, I only make, you know, $15 an hour, I demand more. And it's like, well, we actually contribute to your 401k, we match, we pay your social security, we pay your Medicare, we pay, you know, the other half of your medical deductions. So what this does is shows the employee how much they're actually making. So they might see that that base pay of 185. I don't know who's making that. <laughs> but uh, the total rewards here shows 239,000. So this um, just kind of shows that appreciation for what the company is truly paying. So this is a newer feature, and it's called Total Rewards Statement. 
So that is inclusive of our uh, payroll module, but I did want to show you a piece of our HR module because as we hire more and more millennials, um, they want to see new features that are world class, such as electronic onboarding. So um, I will show you that in just a second, but what I want to start with is the talent profile. So again, um, I see this request a, lo a lot um, in construction and manufacturing and um, so forth because there's a lot of licenses and certifications. So when it comes to forklift training or you know cranes and OSHA and so forth, typically um, the guys keep it in an Excel sheet and a folder at their desk. So if there were ever an audit, you know they're having to go to each individual manager to see who has been certified all your tailgate trainings, you know, you really want to make sure that you're documenting those, getting signatures on those, but you can also keep the certifications here in one place. So it allows one person to be able to pull those reports, but it also keeps track of the expiration dates. So if you do have things that, are, that will expire, such as the anti-harassment training, CPR training, we can run reports and tell you when that's expired so, it, so you don't lapse. And then we also have our, oh, excuse me, our statutory compliance page. This really gets down into the HR laws. So FMLA, if you're over 50 employees, um, EEO1, if you're a federal contractor at 50 employees, or if you uh, have over 100 employees, as well as your OSHA, your electronic I-9s, and so forth. So we, if you are ever audited, the goal is to get them what they want and get them out the door. And the best way to do that is have it electronic, pull that report within five minutes, show them, and again, get them back out that door. So this is uh, a way for you to keep everything organized in one space, especially um, for those of you who have people out in the field or multi-location, everything is organized here. Another feature that comes with our HR module is called the org chart. So again, you know, they just wanted to be able to upload pictures, be able to see the company's directory, such as their title, who they report to, their phone number, and so forth. So you're able to come in here and um, click and, and do all that from the mobile app as well. So if your employees are out in the field and they need to contact someone, their emails and, and phone numbers could be in the mobile app as well as on this website. Now I'm just going to switch, Leilani, uh, I'm going to switch to share my screen. Let me know if you can see that PowerPoint. Yes, I can see it. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So this is um, the electronic onboarding and it was meant to welcome your employees um, on day one, right? So a lot of times there's a lot of nervousness and they're just anxious to start day one. So this, we allow a message from you know, the HR person, the president, CEO, whoever you feel um, wants to give that message. You're also able to upload a video. Um, they can meet their team. So their, their manager, their buddy, their coach, their mentor, um, and everyone else who is on their team. So their teammates can say, you know, welcome, first day. You know, if you wanna, let me know if you want to grab lunch. and just kind of makes them feel welcome. It's a great way to really showcase the culture of your company. And again, um, because a lot of this um, has been based in our R&D uh, is around millennials, it's um, they wanted that social media feel. So you could turn this on or off, but it would allow them to upload their photo, edit their status, um, you know, just kind of say, hey, I, I'm really looking forward to starting tomorrow. But what you and I really care about is the HR piece, right? So um, you need to make sure that your employees are compliant and this is the, the, the beef of it, right? So. This allows them to complete that section one of the form I-9. Again, everything is on an approval path, so it will then go to the manager to view the documents and to sign off on the next section. It allows them to say, hey, I'm single and zero, married in two, that way their first paycheck is accurate. But really, here are the company policies. You want them to be able to um, electronically sign off on the handbook, maybe a uniform policy, travel and expense policy, sick policy. You can have as many as you need here 
um, and they will go through all those documents. Typically, you know, I see that, that two-inch packet being handed out and they're sitting in front of someone for about four hours filling this out. So again, we can have this all electronic. And then they're doing the little stuff too, like direct deposit, emergency contacts. So really trying to keep it paperless. You don't ever want to have to read someone, um, someone's poor handwriting and miss a digit on their direct deposit or social security or anything like that. So this allows them to type it in. Again, approval path up to you to review and to submit. This here is company news. So if you have benefits, they can jump right into that and start electronically enrolling into benefits. But you can also have other announcements like company picnic this Saturday, um, you know, holiday party, et cetera. And then lastly, it's the neighborhood. So if they're new to the neighborhood or if they just need to know where the nearest Starbucks is on the way to work, if they need to know where to go to lunch that day, they can plan their commute. Um, this is really to ease the tension of day one, right? They, sometimes they don't know, but this is how you can welcome them and to make them feel a little bit more comfortable. So those, the talent profile, statutory compliance, the org chart, the onboarding, and the I, electronic I-9 and E-Verify, those are um, some of the features, but also the main features on why I see people leaning towards um, purchasing the HR module with ADP. Now, of course, we have several other modules, such as the applicant tracking system. So if you find yourself um, you know, hiring a lot and having a lot of resumes, just know that we also have that, um, that module as well. And you can add on these modules at any time. So it's very simple to add on modules once the main payroll house is built. But this is what it looks like to um, have that applicant tracking system. You're able to post jobs to um, you know, Monster and LinkedIn. You're able to keep track of those applications in the various stages. You're able to send out electronic offers and keep track of, of every stage as well as background checks. Another feature here in our um, module is our performance reviews. So whether you have an annual review, quarterly, monthly, um, or even if you manage by goals, we have a goal system. This also does the PIPs. So if someone's on a 60-day you know, PIP, we can do that, the disciplinary actions, but also the introductory reviews. So you, if you do have that new hire and you want to keep a pulse on them, you can touch base every 30, 60, 90 days. Um, those reviews can certainly be built in here as well. The most typical we see is the, the annual reviews. Um, and then I see people leaning a lot towards the goals now. So this is the goal section of that where you're able to say, hey, let's increase um, you know, our, our lost material count by 10% this year. And you're able to track those goals through the system. Other modules that we have are um, you know, time and attendance, our compensation. So that's where you're able to fairly and equitably, equitably uh, pay people across the board based on their performance reviews. Also, our um, retirement. So you are able to integrate your 401k into the system, obviously reducing the administrative burden. If we are your broker, we are able to upload those contributions automatically. We have all the data, so we know their, their birth date, so we know if they're eligible for the catch-up contribution and so forth. Really reduces your audit. We basically um, are able to do all that for you. And then another key differentiator is our big data, right? ADP is um, a big player in the HCM space, and we have a lot of uh, data that we're able to slice and dice and give back to you. So if even on your mobile app, we're able to show you, you know, your turnover, your headcount, um, we can show you your overtime, all these, all these analytics. So keep in mind that there are other modules that you can add on uh, when needed. I have been talking a lot, so um, let me just pause here and I'll, I'll send it back to you, Leilani, if, if we have any uh, questions. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jessica. Again, for our Sage clients, um, we totally support, you know, all of this, just sort of partnering with the experts who can handle more for you so you can focus on your job. So. Um, I will um, pause for a moment and have anyone um, either 
type in um, their questions through the chat box or if you'd like to kind of explain a question or a situation, you can raise your hand through the Zoom meeting um, and I can unmute your microphone so that you can sort of have a dialogue with Jessica. But thank you, that was awesome. Thank you. And also I'll mention this should be up on our YouTube channel um, shortly. I do see a question. Would like more information regarding the report or data flow between SAGE and ADP. That was barely touched on. Okay, yeah, so um, on our end, what we will typically do is work with the ADP onboarding um, uh, person, uh, the contact there, uh, we can essentially design any type of report. We have a report that we've mainly used for our ADP uh, clients that um, can be sent off to ADP for the payroll. So we have that. Um, we can definitely share. I can reach out to you individually so that we could talk a little bit more about that. Um, so I can get a little bit of a background if you're currently already using both or maybe you're onboarding. Um, I'd be happy to, to talk to that um, a little bit more individually. Jessica, do you have any information on your end that you wanted to share? Um, on reports in general, obviously we have um, all of our standard and, and sample reports, but under our general ledger interface, you know, that's how we're able to use TAG and then um, talk to Sage 100 contractors. So this is called the general ledger interface. Basically during implementation, we take your chart of accounts and we um, map all of them and then TAG will help us get it into Sage 100 contractors. So just know on the ADP end, um, we do the heavy lifting for you. All you basically do is give us your chart of accounts and we map them to the um, correct account. And so as the pay gets in there, um, a lot of times when you're already using SAGE and you already have their time in attendance, this piece is really only sending over the payroll data. So the main payroll data, the main taxes, because a lot of your job costing is already going to be in um, SAGE with their time in attendance um, you know, in real time. So just know that we can do it both ways. If you're already doing it in SAGE, great. We can just send the tax information um, from payroll, so it would be a very simple process. If you would like us to do it um, a little bit more complex, we can handle that as well. So that's called our general ledger interface. Thank you. Okay, so um, I have another question. Could you list out all of the modules that are offered by ADP, and would the website look any different if you only had certain modules? Yeah, so um, way to test me here. Let's see if I can do it. Um, so we have our applicant tracking system, uh, which is recruiting. We have our payroll module. We have time and attendance, whether it's computer, the mobile app, or even our time clocks, our biometric time clocks. We have our HR module, which is all of I showed you, right, the onboarding, it's the org chart, statutory to compliance talent profile. We have our benefits module, which comes with ACA reporting. So we will handle all of the compliance as well as the 1094 and 1095 C filings. That benefits module allows employees to electronically onboard um, and enroll in PPO, HMO, 401k, et cetera. We have our performance module. So that's all the goals and the performance reviews. We have compensation. That's where we're able to um, fairly and consistently um, pay the COLA bonuses or adjustments, merit increases, spot bonuses, et cetera. Um, we also have our doc cloud. So that's where we're able to store all of the um, employee files. So if you want to go paperless, that's called doc cloud. We have our data cloud, which includes the analytics, right? So if you want real-time reports, right here, such as our turnover, recruiting, and so forth. But there are, are different levels to that, including benchmarking. So if you want us to compare compensation to other construction companies in California, all the way down to the Orange County market, we can dive deep and show you what other foremen are being paid or what have you. So that's called benchmarking. 
and then there is the pay equity portion of our data, data cloud. So with the um, all of the different um, pay class uh, protected classes, so gender, right? Obviously a big one right now. Are the men and women in your company being paid for the same work, same same duties? We can look at your data and show you very quickly if there is a discrepancy all the way down to their race um, by title and so forth. So we keep you um, compliant there. And then of course we can broker. We can broker your 401k, we can broker your benefits, we can broker your workers comp. Um, those are out different um, in addition to, to modules. So I, I think I did it. <laughs> Yeah, and the other question um, Allison had was, um, does the website look any different if you only have certain certain modules? Yes. So if you only had, um, you know, our payroll module, you would only be able to process payroll. You wouldn't necessarily see the talent, this talent button, right? Because you wouldn't have performance reviews or you wouldn't have the applicant tracking system. So a lot of this would just disappear, um, but you would still have access to the, the payroll and payroll cycle. Um, all of these tabs would still be here. Um, this website, this, this is called our portal, you would still have access to this. And then as you need, you can add on different modules such as our talent modules um, or the, the analytics and so forth. So we would just turn those things off. Okay, awesome. I have one more question um, from Jackie. Um, and I think this might be a question for me. Um, where does the job costing come in? So um, we talked about the two different scenarios of working um, between SAGE and ADP. Um, the, the one that we recommend the most in order to have up-to-date um, job cost reporting and all of that is essentially putting in all of your um, labor and costs, all of your information into SAGE first, as if you are using the payroll module um, within SAGE, because it, it does have a payroll module, but we see all the benefits of using a payroll service to handle all of that for you, take care of the li liability. Um, so um, the job costing goes directly into SAGE first and foremost, as if you're utilizing SAGE for payroll, but you will be sending that information from um, SAGE to ADP to be able to utilize that. Um, so that's what we recommend um, at TAG um, to really get the uh, reporting on the job cost reports uh, within SAGE and then also to be able to have all of the, the payroll stuff covered by Jessica's um, side of things. Um, who provides the report for exporting th that data? Um, so that um, report uh, TAG has done for our SAGE clients that utilize ADP. So we have, um, we have that, but it, it could be designed by um, uh, any certified consultant on our team. Um, if you are using, um, you know, a particular type of report, really any report. This is, we, we have a particular report that we've used before, but if, you know, your situation calls for a little, something a little bit different, we can create or uh, revise that for you. Um, Jessica, do you want to add anything? Sorry, I kind of hijacked that question. No, no, you did perfect. <laughs> okay, awesome. Um, okay, the cost. I can I can reach out to you, J Jackie, um, just to make sure that um, the report that we have is going to meet all your needs. Um, for your particular situation. So I'll reach out to you, Jackie, um, on that end. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you everyone for joining us and thank you, Jessica, um, all of this again, we really support and advocate for. We want our clients to be successful in what they do, and we see the value in being able to, to bridge that gap between um, payroll and the accounting software. So thank you, Jessica. Thanks, everyone, for joining. This will be up on YouTube and um, also available if you need a recording link um, to share with anyone on your team. Just let me know, um, and if you have any questions, of course, let me know as well. Thanks, Jessica. Have a great week, everyone. Thank you. Bye.